My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. It's a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. One of my favorite stained glass windows here at the Shrine Church of St. Rita of Cascia is the depiction of St. Rita outside the walls of the convent. At first, she was not given admittance, not because she was a widow, but because the Augustinian sisters were afraid that her presence would cause division and tension in their community. St. Rita stands there accompanied by her three patrons. St. Augustine, St. Nicholas of Tolentine, and St. John the Baptist. With their help, she manages to ascend over the wall during the night. The next morning, the sisters were surprised to see her, and they accept her into the community. Instead of fostering division, she was the source of reconciliation and peace among the sisters. We are celebrating the solemnity of the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ into heaven. We believe that he is at the right hand of God the Father, interceding for us that we may be healed of whatever divides us from the Father's love and that we be reconciled with God and with one another. In St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter five, verse 21, he tells us, for our sakes, God made him who did not know sin to be sin, that in him, Christ Jesus, we might become the very holiness of God. As St. Rita was called to holiness, we too are called to holiness. By faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are to live in the present moment, free from fear and anxiety, lifted by the gift of the Holy Spirit. Following the example of St. Rita, And with her help, we too are called to be peacemakers in our families, in our communities, and in our world. And we can do this in practical ways. I I recently saw a brief article in the Christopher News Notes. For more than 70 years, the Augustinian sisters in Cassia have been helping brides who cannot afford a wedding dress. The monastery has a collection that are loaned out with any expectation of return. They use this outreach to lift up the vocation of marriage, building up the community in their own town of Kasha and beyond. The monastery receives 10 dresses a month from tailors and women donating gently used ones. Some of the sisters use their skills as seamstresses to repair and beautify the dresses. Brides can come and try the dresses in a private space and can borrow the one they choose. If they keep it, many will make a free will offering. Sister Mary, one of the Augustinian sisters there in Cassia, explains that the wives who come to leave their wedding dresses are, along with the practical gesture, also making a spiritual act of trust and supplication. They're entrusting to St. Rita the brave and sometimes difficult journey of the vocation of marriage. St. Rita, help us to lift up one another in the love of the Lord Jesus Christ, ascended at the God's right hand and praying for us. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and our hearts will be renewed. May the Lord be the face of the earth. 
O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit a love and desire for what is right and just and the constant enjoyment of his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Immaculate Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of pure love, pray for us. Holy Mary, Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Holy Mary, Queen of all the saints, pray for us. Holy Mary, Model of life for Saint Rita, pray for us. Saint Rita, our Advocate and Protectress, pray for us. Saint Rita, beloved by the Lord, pray for us. Saint Rita, given special grace from heaven, pray for us. Saint Rita, remarkable in childhood, pray for us. Saint Rita, model of obedience to God's will, pray for us. Saint Rita, of untiring patience, pray for us. Saint Rita, model of Christian mothers, pray for us. Saint Rita, mirror for Christian spouses, pray for us. Saint Rita, heroic in sacrifice, pray for us. Saint Rita, generous in forgiving, pray for us. Saint Rita, martyr and penitence. Pray for us. Saint Rita, embracing humility and poverty. Pray for us. Saint Rita, exemplary as a widow. Pray for us. Saint Rita, prompt to answer the divine call. Pray for us. Saint Rita, patient in suffering. Pray for us. Saint Rita, mirror of religious observance. Pray for us. Saint Rita, mystical rose of every virtue. Pray for us. Saint Rita, enamored of the passion of Christ. Pray for us. Saint Rita, pierced with a thorn. Pray for us. St. Rita in ecstasy before the Blessed Sacrament. Pray for us. St. Rita consumed with divine love. Pray for us. St. Rita received into heaven with joy. Pray for us. St. Rita incorrupt in your chaste body. Pray for us. St. Rita advocate of impossible cases. Pray for us. St. Rita persevering in prayer. Pray for us. St. Rita help of those in need. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lord, you have signed your servant Rita. With the marks of your love and passion. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on Saint Rita such grace that she loved her enemies, and bore in her heart and on her forehead the mark of your love and passion. Grant us, we beseech you, through her merits and intercession, a love for our enemies. Through our contemplation of your sufferings and passion, may we merit the reward promised to the meek and the suffering. You live and reign forever. Amen. Glorious Saint Rita, patroness of those in need, your intercession with our Lord is most powerful. Through the favors obtained by your prayers, you have been called advocate of hopeless and even impossible cases. Saint Rita, humble and pure, patient and compassionate lover of Christ crucified, we have confidence that everyone who has recourse to you will find comfort and relief. Listen to our petitions and show your power with God in our behalf. Obtain our petitions for us, if they are for the greater honor of God and for our good. We promise, if our petitions are granted, to make known your favor and to glorify God for his gift. Relying on your power with the merciful Savior, we ask of you. By the singular merits of your childhood. Obtain our requests for us. By your perfect union with the divine will. Obtain our requests for us. By your acceptance of troubles in your married life. Obtain our requests for us. By the anguish felt at the murder of your husband. Obtain our requests for us. By the surrender of your children rather than have them offend God. Obtain our requests for us. By your miraculous entrance into the convent. Obtain our requests for us. 
by your daily penance and fasting, obtain our request for us. By your courage and joy in bearing the mark of the crucified Savior, obtain our request for us. By the divine love which consumed your life, obtain our request for us. By your devotion in receiving the blessed sacrament, obtain our request for us. By the happiness you felt in leaving this life for union with Christ, obtain our request for us. By the example you have given to people of every state of life, obtain our request for us. Pray for us, Saint Rita. That we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, Father in your infinite Father, love and mercy, you heed the prayer of your beloved servant, Rita. You graciously grant favors through her intercession, which are considered impossible to human skill and effort. Relying on her compassionate love, we ask you to assist us in our trials and difficulties. Let unbelievers know that you are the helper of the humble, the defender of the weak, and the strength of those who trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.